inventing my greatest invention, the Flintlock. <laughs> Lunch packs, for children. Ah, now that's what I call a zero stratus. Gazing tax, for children. Mmm, chocolate, chocolate, sardine. Mmm, chocolate, chocolate, no sardine. First lick tax. Oh, oh, just this bite it off. Really just bite it off. Blech. Mayor Shelbourne, this has gone too far. You can't just tax anything you want. Of course I can. I'm the mayor. But it's not right. Right, Schmite. What are you going to do about it? Make a difference by running for mayor in the upcoming election and then pass reasonable and fair-minded laws? I mean, I mean, I mean, what? I mean, what the? I mean, what? I mean, Candy tax. Well, children, how deliciously easy. You know, that's not such a bad idea. Taking candy from a baby? No. Running for mayor. Making a difference. Huh. I guess I would make a pretty good mayor. What? I've always considered myself a public servant. Oh. And as mayor, I could have everyone in the town using all of my inventions all Lance, the time. Actually, I was talking about your dad. Everyone loves the strong, silent, grunty type. Huh. Well, he is pretty silent. And grunty. Hey, Dad! Quick question! Want to make a difference and run for mayor? Uh. Well, you heard him. He said, Sure, son. Sign me up. All I heard was, eh. Trust me. I know my dad. Well, the she dances on the waves and everyone says, Hooray! I'm happy as a clam with very long legs so I can run around the bottom of the ocean. No! no. What are you doing? Don't you remember? You agreed to run for mayor. I asked you and you went, hmm, which obviously means yes. No, I went, hmm, as in no. Told you. The point is, Swallow Falls needs you to run for mayor. You have the chance to make things better around here, Mr. Lockwood. And before you grunt no, take a look at this. <laughs> Announcing a brand new tax I just came up with. And <laughs> it's a doozy. Fresh caught sardine tax! You can say goodbye to those sardines. <laughs> Never heard him cuss like that. Let's just pencil it in as a yes. <laughs> Lockwood for mayor. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, what's next? Old Rick running for mayor, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Mayor Dad, everyone knows that you're the only mayor for Swallow Falls. That's a good idea. It's so rare from you. I'm the only mayor for Swallow Falls tax. Perfect. Make it so. Um, um how would that work exactly? Never mind. Okay, just give me what you have in your pockets. Woo! You got it, Mayor Dad, sir. Presenting the Flint Lockwood Electomatic, or LE. The Flint is silent. Get it? Ellie. Like the name. Anyway, Ellie here has gone through all the data and she says that the first thing you gotta do to win is smile. Okay, let's see that winning grin, Mr. Lockwood. Have you have you started smiling? It's a little hard yet? to tell. Maybe with a little help. Here, I'll get that in. Oh. You get this. Mm. Just um, come on, mm. just stretch it. That's weird. Stretch. Fingers are quite salty. Stop it. You got this. Uh, why don't we try something else? Huh. Ellie suggests kissing babies. It's a fact. People vote for baby kissers. Ten bucks for the kiss. But for you, ten. Get in there, it's wet and wild. <coughs> <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. 
Dad, Dad, he's our mayor. Vote for him or feel despair. Dad, Dad, he's our boss. Vote for him or feel a significant sense of loss. That's Dad. enough, Gil. That's oh. enough. You're fired. Oh. 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 Fellow citizens. I have two opponents running against me. The first one's ideas are so stale that I call him Moldy Rick. Hey! Crack down on Wall Street! Wall up the street cracks! Oh. As for my other opponent, Tim Lockwood, many people are saying that he's anti-sardine. Oh, oh, uh, um, just because a whale talks, doesn't mean the dolphin listens. This is bad. This is bad. According to Ellie, no one understands fish metaphors. We're gonna lose for sure. Yeah! Woo! All right! I get this guy! Finally, someone who knows how to use the fish metaphor! Tim! 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 But Tim! That doesn't make any sense! Tim! 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 Sam Sparks here on the campaign trail with mayoral candidate Tim Lockwood. He's fishing for new boaters, but will Swallow Falls take his bait? Whales swim in pods, but the fish swim in schools. Woo! Yay! That's right. We need smaller class sizes and a bigger budget for education. Tim Lockwood, you have my vote. Birds swim better than fish fly. Couldn't put that better myself. We demand a more fair taxation system. The early eel gets the middle. It's about time someone promised to improve public transportation. Give me the numbers, Gil. Hold back nothing. Tell me the truth, good or bad. You're losing. No. Big time. No, I'm no, not. it's really no. big. I've never seen I numbers this low. I refuse to believe you. There's Liar! A... What about old Rick? He's going after a very specific audience. Free tuition for any cow who wants to go to Moo University. He's polling surprisingly well. I don't get it. How could I be losing to these two losers? It's the voters who are losers. But just wait till the debate. You'll show them who the real mayor is in this town. I believe in you, Dad. I believe in you! <laughs> Control yourself, Gil. Okay. But you're right. I am? I'll just go out there and be my lovable, inspiring, and extremely modest self. No wish, Elbert! We want Lockwood! New plan? If this town wants fishy Tim and his stupid metaphors, then call me the mayor of Crazy Talk. At me, Gil. Cutting. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I've gone through the numbers, and even though you're winning, for now, Ellie says the voters want you to talk about real issues. Dad, 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 Seems to me they like what they're hearing. Dad, this is no time to start trusting your instincts. Ellie is a computer. I programmed her myself, and science is never wrong. She says no more fish metaphors, but that's what I think you should do. I don't know, son. Sometimes it's hard for the tiger fish to change its stripes. You're doing it again! No metaphors, Dad. Just regular talk. That's it. Okay, son. Are you sure you know how to do this fish metaphor thing? Child's play! You just put two fishy nouns together with a verb. Like, the dolphin and the squid break dance in the morning. That makes no sense. Exactly! I'm giving the voters what they want. Sam Sparks, debate moderator. Mr. Lockwood, we'll start with you. What would be your first course of action as Swallow Falls' new mayor? <sighs> well, I uh, would then... Um, maybe, uh... Uh, oh, you know those uh, things with the. Mm, the I, yes. Yes, I would. What happened to the fish references? He's changed so fast. Bourgeois elitist! Oh, oh, yeah. I don't understand. How could Ellie have gotten it so wrong? Yeehaw! I always say the squid and the shrimp like to nibble on the old lady's feet. Oh, he's not making sense. This is a front to my intelligence. Oh, oh, oh. Flint! Have you considered that Ellie doesn't get fish metaphors because you don't get fish metaphors? After all, you programmed her. I've made a huge mistake. Voters, listen to me. I have a rat bird on my head. Is it time to renew job growth, protect our natural resources, and stop the fat cats from swimming in your money? Now that's a sentiment I can get behind. Oh, Rick! Oh, Rick! Oh, Rick! Oh, Rick! Maybe we can work something out! <sighs> it 
It's not your fault, Dad. I should have believed in you instead of thinking I knew better with my invention. Thanks, son. I gotta admit, I was looking forward to making a difference. Well, you did have a hand in getting Shelburne out of office. Old Rick may be kooky, but maybe he'll shake things up for the better. Drain the swamp a bit. Maybe you're right. For my first act, as mayor, I quit! Oh! Oh! Sam Sparks for Cannery High News. What made you change your mind? Mayor Shelburne! He gave me another rat bird. Now I have two rat birds. I guess that makes me mayor again. I knew it would happen. I've always believed in you forever, Mayor Dad. Forever, Mayor Dad. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 You just don't shut up, dude. I thought, oh. Well, I think we're done here. Okay, we're done. Move, move on. Move on. Go, children. How did you know to get out of the way of that? Swallow Falls is just predictable that way. It's not. You're the one that's premature, pre, pre, prehistoric. Look at your glasses. You always wear them. Everyone knows that. <laughs> predictable? Predici. Predictable? Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Because, well, everything's so predictable. For instance, I'll bet Mayor Shelburne is singing about money. Ding -a -ding -a -ding money. Mr. Earl is doing push-ups. Six hundred thousand four fifty-two. And Old Rick is surfing in his dumpster. Eight seven. Woo you can tell the future. Close. I'm a meteorologist. Toodles. Next on my prediction list, Flint is working on a new invention. Hey Sam, I'm working on a new invention. You don't say. I'm launching it tomorrow at three o'clock. And this one might just, just change, change the, the world. world. How did you know I was gonna... Never mind. Are you coming to the launch? Let's just say it's predictable that I'll be there. Awesome. Pew sky at noon. Rain coming soon. Oh, oh yeah. Ain't right? that yeah. the truth right I think there. you're right about That's that a deep one. Shade of yeah. No, weather doesn't work like that, guys. It's way more complicated than a little rhyme. <laughs> <gasps> How did you know it was gonna rain? <laughs> because there was a few sky at noon. And that rhymes with rain coming soon. But forecasts are made by studying data and examining weather patterns. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like that Flint Lockwood. Mr. Know It Everything. What? Well, no, it's just that. <laughs> Salty breeze from the north. Sun be coming forth. <gasps> wow, I thought I knew everything about weather, but this is totally unpredictable. Not unpredictable about us, not in the slightest. Wait, I want to know more. And then, wow, the sun came out just like the rhyme said it would. It was amazing. Rhymes? <laughs> Please, Sam. What did they use? A haiku to catch their fish? Do they use limericks to predict the stock market? Flint, they were right. Twice! In weather, that's, well, something you'd never predict. You know, some plants and animals know instinctively when the weather will change. Maybe it's the same with fishermen and poetry. It's scientifically impossible. Well, well, maybe science doesn't have all the answers. <gasps> this phenomenon is worth investigating. Fine, then I'll come too. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. What? They don't... What? It's just that they don't really like you. What? Me? Why not? No, oh, no. Sorry, I'm just doing science. Sorry, didn't see that one coming. Sorry. Saw that one coming, but couldn't do anything about it. You completely destroy a few boats and they hold a grudge forever. Ugh. Why do you want to hang out with a bunch of crusty pirates? They're fishermen, and I'm studying them to see if their weather poetry really works. Well, as long as you don't forget about my launch at three, I it's think you're gonna, gonna love be great. this one. I can, can be, be unpredictable, unpredictable too, too, you know. What can I say? It's a gift. It's a creepy gift. There's a nimble stratus passing by, but that don't mean nothing to the lady with the wooden eye. The weird day. Arr. All right, guys, for our first test, I just want you to give me a rhyme. Sky of mint green, high of 13. 
Ooh, right again. Okay, ready for test two? Hey, Sham, how's this for predictable? Wiggly boinks, lightning strikes. You guys are amazing. I want to learn everything you know. What about that dog? What does that dog mean? Hail, intermittent sun, polar vortex? Hold on, hold on. Shaggy dog means moody fog. Sorry, Thunder, I think you've made a believer out of this, uh, scurvy walrus. Hey, hey, watch it. Slow me down. Oh, shiver me. Okay, okay. All right, all right. You just all don't right. hurt yourself. Yeah, right. Careful there. We'll have to work on that lingo. Okay, class, open your ear holes and listen up. If a boat can carry 20 tons and there are 50 tons of cargo that it has to ship, how many trips does the boat have to make? If the seaweed float, she'll need a bigger boat. What? No? The answer's three. Sam, you're acting weird. What happened to the girl who loves Doppler radar and following pressure systems? I be the same as always! Yarr! Oh, my face! Okay, well, are you coming to the launch at three? Oh, I wouldn't bet on it. Don't find me despicable. I just find your science a wee bit predictable. <gasps> science is supposed to be predictable. That's the point. Presenting the flintlock wood. Huh, what's the point? You really would have loved this one, Sam. You said it, Steve. You said it. Eat plankton, mateys! Boom! Arr! So I see you'd rather play games with your so-called new friends than support your real best friend who's been working on a super cool invention just for you. Away with ye, Mr. Know-It-Everything. You'll be trying to sink our boat again? I only did it 12 times! Let it go! Sam, can you please take off the beard and just talk to me? Why didn't you come see my invention? You knew how much it meant to me. Flint, you'll always be my best friend, but I really like hanging out with Fred. Yarr. Ted. Yarr. And Phil. Yarr. Can't you give me a little space? Get your beard back on, lass. The seas be waiting for no one. Gotta go. Yarr. I don't want to talk about it. Mm. I said I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Fine, if you're gonna give me the third degree. It's Sam. She's choosing weather poetry over science. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It's more than that. She's also running with this new crowd, and huh. I don't think they're good for her. Mm. Plus, she has a beard now. Uh, yeah, but it frames her face weird. Huh. And I feel a little left out. Mm. Son, a shark can't swim without a fin. Can't we just go back to the grunts? No. When you bring in the fishing metaphors, I don't understand what's happening. I'm trying to teach you a lesson. Okay, but well, what does it mean? Okay, well, a big... Imagine a shark, and it's moving... And if there's no fins, it would just... Float down uh, to the bottom. Well, it doesn't uh, have a flotation uh, bladder, uh, so... Just tell me what I'm supposed to do! Go after us, son. Right. Thanks, Dad. No problem. Yerbity yar, yerbity yar! Yerbity 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 yar! Yo ho ho! Have ye any poems about yonder storm cloud? Ah, we'd be too far out to get a strong signal, so me phone app won't work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a sec. You use a weather app? Oh, he does. Then I use a rhyming app to make a poem about it. And I have a banking app. Not super relevant to the conversation, but there you have it. No, but it's good to plan for the future. No, I've got an app called OK Clam. Where, Ooh, yeah, you get that a, sounds good. Uh, you get a clam and you pry it open on your video screen and you look in and see if you like what's in it. Guys, that cumulonimbus is looking dangerous. Good thing I wore me slicker that I ordered from this really cool app. That's a good slicker, friend. Fine overalls you got there, buddy. Oh, what are you guys talking about? That's a storm cloud. Sam, Sam, can we talk? My friend, do not be blue. We, uh, we can do things you like too. <gasps> Flint, what are you doing? I be rhyming. Can't ye see something? Something, something, something. 
See? See? No, no. I mean, what are you doing out there in that dinghy? There's a huge storm coming. Quick, climb aboard. At least we'll have a better shot on this boat. He may not welcome on this boat, skinny pants. Shoo! Get out of here! Float away, little man. Lassie, ye must choose. Are you with us? Or with Arthur tight hunted scallywag? Going with the scallywag! And you guys do sound like pirates. Yarr! Yarr! Well, Flint, at least we're going down together. What? You mean the storm? No worry. The Flint Lockwood storm avoidance machine has it covered. Since when do you have a storm avoidance machine? The Flasam is the invention I wanted to show you. Told you you'd like it. Oh, it has my name in it. Would you like to do the honors? Mr. Noid, everything needs his fancy smancy science to protect him from a little water. We made it. We're safe. I gotta say, this invention is so cool. Oh, you mean it's not just predictable old science? <laughs> yeah, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> Predictable. Predictable. Yeah, yeah, I know. Huh. Hey, what do you think happened to those fishermen? Oh, oh. it's a lump in me rump. Not all poems are fun.